Today I'm in DCA to check out the Blue Sky Cellar, which just recently opened up, giving us a little hint into the construction of Pixar Pier. So there's models in there. There's some more information on some of the changes that you guys can expect, so let's check it out. This is my first time coming in here since it's open. So I haven't seen any of these things on the wall yet either. It's exciting. I think we have some color boards, have some paint jobs. Cool, cool. And this is the concept art that has been making the rounds on the internet. So we have the cove bar that's gonna be the lamplight lounge. We're gonna go around to the Incredicoaster. We know that uh, the carousel is going to be turned into something of Jesse's. The gondolas are all getting changed to Pixar characters. And then that inside out ride that we don't have any information on yet. Top hat on the beach is a mood. Lamplight Lounge offers full bar and picturesque waterfront views. Perfect. You know what I'm really into? is this. So the boardwalk had these big, beautiful, like photo op walls that no one really took advantage of, but they were pretty fun. And now they're all gonna be Pixar themed to spark a special moment. Oh my gosh, cute. According to one of these panels, there will be distinct neighborhoods. So this is talking about the Incredibles Park. It's anchored by the Incredicoaster. I'm living for this artwork up here. Oh, that's going to be the wall mural for the queue when you board the Incredicoaster. That's Jack Jack just on the track. That's not safe. Um, when it was called for New Screaming, there were these like halfway covered blue tunnels, but now it's going to be completely enclosed. So you're supposed to see Dash like doing things inside of the tunnel. Which in here it looks like we have some different concept art. Some different loading queue areas. This looks like the closest to the final design. And then these. I love this kind of mid-century vibe that we got going on. It's really fun. I'm into this. So this looks like either the exit or the entrance when you begin. But we're actually going to be in Edna Mode's house. What a fun addition. See, we got some more here. So this is all about the different food options. Angry dogs, senior buzzes churros, which I know is a hot topic right now. I think the angry dogs is pretty fun. I think this is amazing though. The poultry palace, Ugh, I love it. And then Jack Jack's cookie yum yums. So I'm not really sure where that's gonna go just yet. So these are just some details it seems like we're looking at. Going to be a lot of like candy elements, which is fun. I'm seeing a lot of glitter. So this looks like a mood board for what the inside of the shop is going to look like. Oh, and here we have the Luxo Ball fountain that should be pretty similar to the one that you see in Tomorrowland. And one of the, uh, one of the games is going to be the Luna. I love that. Oh, so cute. The Luna Star Catcher begins with a concept sketch and develops into the final set of drawings for construction. Also, the biggest change that's happening to the gondolas is that the characters currently on there are going to be replaced with all the Pixar characters, except Mickey is going to be staying. whole section is concept art of what the Incredibles flow is going to look like when we actually get it and paint the night. It's going to be added to the parade when the movie comes out and it looks like this might be one of the final concepts here. Could be exactly what we see in the parade. Who knows? It looks flashy. Perfect. This with Dash is a really cool effect. I can see that fitting in perfectly with paint the night. So here we have a one-eighth scale of all of Pixar Pier. 
I love models. This is what we're gonna look at. Good little little people. So we got some new signage. We've got the lamplight lounge. It's really cool to see an actual model to kind of get a better idea of what we're all gonna look like. So here you can see that the tunnels are actually gonna be fully enclosed on the Incredicoaster when that opens. I like they make this like look unfinished intentionally, like it's a blue sky, we're working on it. So Matt just pointed out the funniest thing to me. It's like, what is this? It's like a balloon. Like, there we go. Like a balloon from one of these guests down here. Like, let it go. That's amazing. Though, if there's, nope. This is where that inside out ride is gonna be and there's still nothing there. So no more information about what that's gonna look like yet. That's a bummer. But we will find out soon enough. Oh, there's where the churro cart's gonna be. That is definitely the building for Poultry Palace. And that's gonna be the location of the adorable snowman frozen treat. See, he's not the abominable snowman anymore, the adorable snowman. The mini for that has already been released and looks very tasty. One more thing that I'm seeing over here in the corner. It's not a lot of information, but it's something. This imagery has already been released, but it's still exciting to actually see it inside of the park. 2020. Hurry up, please. So there it is, a full kind of rundown of a little bit more of what to expect at Pixar Pier. A lot of the information isn't new, but it's still cool to see part of that blue sky imagineering process. And let me know what you are excited the most about in Pixar Pier, because I'm really excited for Poultry Palace for some reason. Actually, I'm excited for Incredicoaster because I love California Screaming and I think it's a really cool permanent overlay. It should be pretty exciting. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy everything the Imagineers do because if you're a Disney Park fan, then you should because they make all of this happen. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.